Yo, what's up, peeps? Your old pal Klaus here. Alright, hello everyone. This is Mario Fangirl93, and of course I'm with my boyfriend Klaus. Because <laughs> we're going to be <laughs> both recorded at the same time. And... Yay! Dual recordings! And today we're going to do something different. Instead of just one... We're just going to do a message video. Instead of doing one, it's going to be two people. So, it's going to be a double message two video. For, two for the price of one, Grandma. <laughs> Alright. And these two people are going to be mentioning here in this video are Cody Merriman and John Ambien. Yeah... Except for uh, one is not not that big a deal, while the other is just a big time evil. You'll see what I mean, like when we actually get to that person. Yeah. So start. We'll talk about. Let's talk about Cody, because yesterday on Facebook, Ronnie wasn't really happy with what Cody like post comments like th that on Facebook like he's a spammer and he like leaving oh. multiple messages like like five of them or, or whatever well, here's a shortened version of the story he's a chatterbox yeah and this something that we have to get done because because I've already have an issue right here because whenever I'm busy and whenever I'm not responding, he just messaged me like every seconds, and it's driving me nuts. Every how many seconds? Every three seconds? Every five seconds? Perhaps he did. <laughs> anyway, let me just show you right here, and it's on um, on Facebook, and I just logged in right here, and you see it. Yeah, I think we can all see it. Yeah. And want to go ahead and just read along with um his um comments that he wrote and it's basically to um Oh, and we're only going to go over comments of interest. We're not going to we're not going to read every comment there. No, just basically Cody's Rodney's or perhaps I think someone just who spoke to Cody. Just you know that just give a little warning about being you know Chatterbox. Now, he joined on this I joined this group like um, four days ago, only four days ago, not even a week yet, and unfortunately he left because this does he um, really shouldn't take it so t shouldn't take it so seriously. This it's group, probably because this group this group is meant for fun. It's probably the quickest that anyone's been bumped off. And this is the reason why people say he's the worst person in the group. And that is the actual reason for that. Yeah, it is. He annoyed the living shit out of them. That's why. Anyway, ready to read? And yeah, we're only going to be doing a, a, a few comments because like we, we want to dedicate very little time to Cody because he's not all that big a deal. Mm, yeah, just something to just give a little warning message to him. So let me know when you scroll down. Alright, so he's starting off by... Okay, we're going to start off with him saying the main post itself. You know, I like to wish the people I compete... That's C-O-M-P-E-E-T, by the way. For these DGSN games, good luck. I'm gonna make a fine competition. What? Blah, blah, blah. Part 10 mistake in my spelling. My screen reader announces something else every time I try to TY words correctly. Okay, here's my problem, another problem I had with him. This... Okay, I just wanna give some advice to you, Cody. Dick your screen reader 
and get a pair of glasses. Yeah, because here's my another problem I had with him. His spelling and his grammar is poor. And take take Klaus's advice here. If you if you want to be a good speller, it's better off. You, and I we understand that you're blind, but if you want to Im try to improve, if you can't spell correctly or didn't check before you spelling, it's best to just try to get glasses on. Okay. Moving on though. Only a few more comments, and that we're gonna drop it from here. All right, that's because he, because he put um, he made like um, several comments. It's just gonna be three of them, so we'll just quickly just take a look at it. And something I had to point it out. Okay, here we go. I guess okay. Sam, if somehow become if if I somehow become Percy Luck champion. I'm facing you and on next. Okay, he's on a was. He says, stack so many messages. I stack so many comments, like you can't edit your comment. Uh, yeah, now he. He didn't even edit his comment. A little advice right here. Well, I didn't even comment right. He didn't have a god a chance because I was um, away with my family. But. Uh, if I see it. Oh my god. This is why I'm just ready to remove Cody on friends list on Facebook. Because Mez's tacking can get a little irritating. Yeah. Anyway. Let's see. Heck, I've got someone I'm ready to remove because he keeps messaging me every day. Does he? He kept messaging you like every day? Well, not just Cody, but. Uh, just, so, just, just, just someone I want to leave me alone. Yeah, true. Now, this is from Jonathan's post, and here's Cody's comment right here. Okay, it's, okay. This post has to do with poker, which I'm kind of sad I couldn't take part in. But oh well, what can you do? Easy schedules. Hmm. But yeah, it's like, no, okay. He was like, I decline, so don't choose me. Blah, blah, blah. I forgot what I just said. And a cake once. Wait. While I have you, are you going to be in the audience? And you just ignore the fact that Rennie's not even going to be on. Oh, my God. Cody, uh, advice for you. And, again, I understand you, you're you blind, but please listen and pay attention to Ronnie what he told you instead of ignoring, it, or ignoring the warning. Okay, sorry about that jump cut, guys. Um, uh, uh, one of my friends on Skype, uh, on Skype messaged me. Mm. Anyway, I'm with Rodney right here. What you know? What he said right here on this comment. Yeah, I don't mean to be rude, but can you pipe down? Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely with Rodney here. Me too. Take it did come off as a tiny bit rude, but Cody was being a bit of a chatterbox. Yeah. Now, let me tell you something, Cody. If people were busy, or if they don't want to talk to you, or or whatever, you just be in a chatterbox and if you keep asking them a lot, just give them some space and leave them alone. Especially when you did to Ronnie. You got to learn to give people some space. Exactly. Oh, and to think, I originally planned to do a deal or no deal video with him, but that's off. You pissed off pretty much most people in the GSN. 
Yeah. And that is the reason why people hated you. Because right now, what you're doing, just um, be, despite being a chatterbox, you are pissing off people on Discord Game Show Network. I'm going to interject here and say he, he people don't hate Cody. They're just really, really annoyed at him. And yeah, it's, it's just the fact that he bothered he, he bothered them and he, he didn't follow a rule. That's why he didn't. That's why he got bumped off. I wouldn't go as far as to say people hate him. Right. And that's the reason why people just label him the worst person on Discord Game Show Network. Or it's so-called Weakest Link. Oh, somebody even made a Weakest, weakest Link joke on him. Yeah. And anyway, there's... That's, I'm sorry. That's all we got to say on Cody right now. Oh, one more, um, there is actually one more right here before on to the post, and then I have to get one more to say about Cody. Because, you know, before we just read it right here, this will probably gonna be a, a, a face palm at this, but now before we decide to read one more message before we move on to John Ambien. When, if, when Cody first talking to me, he just requests me w that I should um, have him as a guest on my wheel videos. Like, should do it very often. <sighs> and he doesn't understand my channel rules that I don't do requests. And he says, how sad. You c I'm sorry, Cody, but that is my channel. It's my choice. And on top of that, actually, I do kind of have one thing to say now that you said that. Cody, do you really expect everybody to take requests? Like, seriously. You know, ready for like one, like one more message before I just before moving on and do a message on John Ambien. I think we should just do a message. Do, mm -hmm. do a message on John. Oh wait, actually, let's do one more because. This one right here, is, and I'll just say, I'll just read a lot, and I'll try to be as quick as possible. All right, he says, guys, I struggle a lot making new friends on here. I mean, sure, I'm chatty, but every time I try to say something, all I get is hurt feelings. Okay, stop right there. That's, uh... oh my god. And you saying, you know, just because you can't even try to say you got feelings hurt or anything. That, I'm sorry, Cody, but that isn't, that's, you're using it as an excuse. Um, I, I legitimately don't think he's using that, that as an excuse. Uh, because, you know. He wants things to run on feelings and not merit. Uh, because you're doing it, you're making friends the wrong way. I mean. Seriously, don't be I'm, winding up ending up like Mitchell Hodak number two. And I'm going to interject here again. There is no right and wrong way to make friends. There's a way to make friends and there's a way to make enemies. Yeah, because... Because if he, could, if he tries to make friends, then... Then... Don't try to make enemies. And you already pissed off people on the group and you got kicked out. Precisely, yeah. Yeah, and we spent more time than intended on Cody. Yeah, that's all we had to say on Cody. Now let's move on to John Ambien. Dun dun dun. The social justice warrior John. And this is... And, okay. About three weeks ago, Matthew V did a message video on him. And the then, link will be in the description down below. Check it out if you haven't already. Yeah. And yesterday, John just came in and finally left the comment right there. And yeah, but first, we should um, explain exactly what he did before we get to the comments. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh... Clearly, John just refuses to listen to anybody, 
anybody include Matthew and us. And he didn't even get our point. Which is like he I'm just gonna I'm just gonna state this right now because well no one else is. He basically committed plagiarism. And he had he didn't even know what plagiarism means. <sighs> okay. I gotta say this to John before before I decided to just point it out what he, point out what he said here and just have to call him out for what he did was a, a mistake. No matter how hard no matter what he did, he still making the same mistake again and again and again. Now, John, if you don't know if you don't even know what plagiarism is, just go to Google and you'll see the definition on on the on and you'll look it up on the on on dictionary. Problem is it's not a mistake if it's deliberate. Alright. Now now, just like any typical social justice warrior, you call him out on stuff, he'll sl he'll slap a label on you. Like, anything he can to make you look bad. Yeah. Okay. He starts off here by saying he is telling the truth, but he left because of the name change, which is... stupid, if you ask me. Oh my god, yeah, this is gonna be, we're gonna face palm of what he said here, because of his stupidity. He's be lumping criticism and bully tactics together. <sighs> and you know what's funny? He apologizes for one thing, he apologizes for being a rude and dishonest asshole, and yet he continues to be dishonest here. And he's just very hypocritical. He's uh, he's also one, a hypocrite social justice warrior as well. Seriously, though. Now, let me just point it out here what he said, saying that Kyle is is a racist and a bully. Dude, Kyle is not a bully. What did he and ever do to you? what the fuck does have to do with... What the fuck does this have to do with race? That's something I... Demand to know from you, John. What does this have to do with race? Seriously, he didn't... Kyle never done anything wrong here. And besides that, you're the one who plagiarized Kyle's post. Okay. Back to back to the race thing. He never said anything regard, in regards to... Uh, even... Vaguely hinting towards race. Like, do you know what racism is? Seriously. It's basically you're, you're prejudging someone based on their skin color, which is essentially what race is, skin color. Seriously, go look it up on the oh. dictionary. Oh, and he makes an argument, and, and, and I have to use air quotes here because it's not really an argument, it's a straw man. He's saying that anyone who tells him the internet is not for him is a Donald Trump supporter. <sighs> oh my god. Now, which I, um... Just forgot to say this on my comment, which I'll mention it about it later on. But let me say this: What does it have to do with Donald Trump? It's nothing. It has, nothing. It has absolutely nothing. But it's a typical social justice warrior bullshit attitude that just okay, social justice warriors aren't interested in a fair fight at all. They project onto others. They straw man whoever calls him out and to top it all off they slap a negative label on you oh, my God. oh and nothing John. racism is a form of bigotry like bigotry and racism are not mutually exclusive no seriously bigotry and racism look the same seriously it's a form of bigotry yeah I'm sorry, John, but and and you also you know there's this discriminate and another thing here. He also can't handle swearing. He said that swearing is a discrimination. 
<sighs> Get the fuck over it. Welcome to the internet. Ugh, this is what I hate about you social justice warriors. Like, for those who don't know, these type of social justice tards tend to infiltrate groups, whether it be atheism or whatever. Like, in this case, Discord Gaming Show Network. Seriously. They put their dogma, push their morals on people, and if you dare disagree with them, then you're a misogynist, then you're a racist, then you're a rape apologist, you're a new Nazi, or you're any kind of negative label they can slap on you to make you look bad. I mean, seriously, you think that swearing is such a bad thing? Seriously, get the fuck over it! Yeah, just seriously, stop. get the fuck over it. It's fucking common, fucking place on fucking interwebs. Now fucking days. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you do that. Just swear all you want. Just, uh, because, just, uh, you don't, uh, because he's constantly a butter crybaby, constantly crying people use a lot of swear words with him. <sighs> okay, John, seriously, get the fuck off of YouTube until you mature more, until you mature, because what I, because I can tell by you, you don't want to take any. You were just a butthurt crybaby, and you can't take any criticism whatsoever. Seriously, and you saying that Kyle is the reason why he, why you're banned? He's not the reason why you're getting banned. And you're showing us why you don't deserve to be back in the group. You drink in huge gulps of the Kool Aid. <sighs> Kyle. And Kyle, Matthew, and other rem people from Discord Game Show Network never done anything wrong. So, yeah, it. Kool Aid and reevaluate your life. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, because Skype just. Skype's. Uh, uh, Klaus's Skype is just cut off. I'm sorry. The Skype connection between us can be really bad sometimes. But, yeah, it's like. But basically, what, in a nutshell. What I said was, the social justice warrior needs to put down the fucking Kool-Aid and reevaluate his life. <sighs> and let's just take a look at, you know, what we have to say to him. There's Matthew's comment right here. And this is something we definitely have to, uh, we definitely agree with Matthew said. So. Kyle's not a bully. He may said some, he may have some profane things, things, but almost all the time, I have fun. Oh, okay, uh, Matthew, here's something uh, you don't understand about social justice warriors. They don't like fun. They have to infiltrate anywhere where there's any trace of fun, and they have to ruin it. Mm. All right, so. We do not discriminate anybody in the DGSN, now not SDSN, which is Skype Game Show Network. Yeah. It changed names because they changed programs. You, know, you still have not grasped the concepts of things. Either swearing is common, almost expected on the internet. You don't condone it. So in a sense, the internet is not for you. And furthermore, you cannot and should not Assume that people who think the internet is not a place for you is a supporter of Donald, Tr Donald Trump. So basically, if Matthew knows it's a straw man. Exactly, yeah. I don't believe a word Trump says, and I don't follow these political elect presidential elections. Because, well, politics aren't for everyone. You. Or even get, you were given so many chances, but keep blowing things. But defending a plagiarist was last uh, was the last straw. I'm willing to bet you don't know what the term plagiarism means. So basically, in a nutshell, John, you have done so many wrong things, and you back would make no sense. You your repeated amount of controversial actions make it. Hard and literally impossible to accept your apology. That is a really good comment, Matthew. Yeah, you <clears throat> put that. You hit the nail on the head, except for you missed one key point. All right. Which 
I try, try to explain to um, John that it's out of fun. Because, like I said earlier, social justice warriors hate fun. Yeah. Oh, and um, Kyle, if you're watching this, your your impersonate your impersonation of John was perfect. I, it was it was hilarious. <laughs> uh, I literally laughed my head off. It, I was laughing so hard my head left my shoulders and went to outer space. Not <laughs> not on a few moon rocks. Especially when he said, um, so you wanted to have sex with Dora the Explorer, what, what he sweat <laughs> on Matthew's yellow card oh, on, um, Deuce Drayton. That was hilarious, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now, back to the seriousness here. I also come in and say to him. And... Yeah, in, yeah, in a nutshell, he basically said, like, welcome to the internet, which, um... I doubt he's. I doubt he's new to the internet. Yeah, I can can already tell he's new to the internet, of course. And uh, no, he's not new to, new to the internet. He just wants to exert control over people. And he's you got that. He's also a control freak. Yeah, but yeah, that's a contradiction to the uh, he's new to the internet thing. Yeah. Anyway. All right. That's that's kind of a good <clears throat> that's kind of a good point here as well. Like why are like why like, in a sense that's a good point. Since swearing is pretty much commonplace and is to be expected on the internet. Yeah, it's the this is the internet. People can swear all they want. And just like I said earlier, he never said anything racist, and of course he's not a bully. He's a nice dude. And uh, I don't know about it. I, I don't know about Kyle being on lo way longer than him. But yeah, this is not a pro this is not an attack on you whatsoever. Criticism. If you're a decent human being, you would accept criticism. However, you seem you don't want to take any criticism. Just think it's cyberbullying which is very stupid pathetic and cha um and immature, and immature about that i got uh, we got interrupted again uh it's all right so at least i paused the recording but anyway hey and here's the real gem that um this social justice warrior here said you are all dead wrong if the internet is not for me fine Discriminate all you want. Bully me all you want. Since when is criticism bullying? Ugh. Seriously, though. Uh, Sorry. It is not a place for bullying, discrimination, hatred, and bigotry. Well, guess the fuck what? If you think you can put a stop to bigotry, you're dead fucking wrong. You're the one who's dead wrong. Bigotry is going to be inevitable. You're always going to find bigotry. I wish that was not the case. But I know better than to try to stop bigotry in its entirety. <sighs> You're always going to have bigoted individuals. Hell, feminists are the biggest bunch of bigots on the internet. Ugh. Oh my god. Except... Uh, expect us to do to, uh, a video on feminism in the in the future. But seriously though, okay, he it, it, he goes on to say that he tried to apologize and he still won't listen. Yeah, I wonder why. And how many chances he get? Well, a, a lot. But he continues to do the same mistake again and again. We'll we'll never forgive him. Oh, and get this. He's still harping on that internet is not for him or he's gonna got to move on. Stop attacking me because you, Americans, have a thing us Filipinos don't have. We shall have spirituality, courage, love, and dignity. Americans like you show, show to me hatred, discrimination, bigotry, racism, and worst of all, Rude and disgusting behavior. 
again, implying we're all a bunch of discriminatory racists. Uh, I, I am not going to repeat myself. This is the kind of shit you would expect from a social justice warrior. Yeah, that proves that you're also an SJW. Or as I'd say, SIW. Social injustice warrior. Yeah. Because uh. this is not fighting for justice. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you think. If you think it's justified to slap labels on people who simply disagree with you, you're sadly fucking mistaken. Yeah. You're a pure fucking moron for even thinking that. Uh. Oh my god. Holy fuck, we're up to like a half hour in recording. Yeah, so let, let's, let's just go on to the and just read what he what, what last thing what he said before we just wrap things up because I know there's like 16 comments but we this is getting way too long to read all of it so let's just finish what he said so yeah us disagreeing with you and us finding bullshit on what you have to say we're not discriminating against Filipinos or the Filipino nation yeah we never we never didn't we're not discriminating against Filipinos in the Filipino we're nation. Not, Seriously. We're not being racist against Filipinos. We're not attacking you. We're attacking your actions. Yeah, and... Of course, we can expect you to take responsibility for your own actions, right? Because, heaven forbid, you take responsibility. Seriously, John, you're just extremely stupid. Aren't all SJWs? Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think he's gonna learn. He just continued to be a butthurt crybaby about it. Well, that's all we have to say for message video, for this message video, both on Cody and John. Okay, hey, okay. To summarize it all, Cody, just be less of a charter box. John, go fuck yourself. You drank way too much of the poison Kool Aid to even care what other people have to say. Yeah, and and sit, you know, and plus, please, please, please get off the internet. Please get off to the internet. That's back talk, because you're the one who should get off the internet because of your of your immature behavior. Yeah, like like I said, he's drank way too much of the Kool Aid to even care what we have to say. Yeah, so. Anyway, this is Murray Van Girl 93. And this has been Klaus, and we're going to end it on this note. To steal the catchphrase from Bane 666AU, don't, don't drink the poison Kool-Aid. Alright, see you guys next time.